Good evening, folks. We've got 24 hours of solar quiet. Just the filaments and the coronal hole loom at this time. The solar flaring has weakened considerably, and with it, down goes the polar proton bombardment. The solar wind is another story. We had another interplanetary shockwave hit in midday, and it was relatively speedier as well, carrying magnetic instability throughout the day, and if I may, these were weak impacts and another potential example of our weak magnetosphere being increasingly perturbed by weaker and weaker space weather. Terrific article for Starwater fans. A brown dwarf very near our star is found to have watery clouds. This is not a new type of discovery, but we have never seen anything like this this close. If you haven't seen Star Water, it is the number one watched premium series at suspiciousobservers.org by nearly double and might need another update. Speaking of which, the Sun Series supplement became available last week, and the second special edition of this month comes in the Electric Earth and Sun Series. We explore the Earth Spots hypothesis, the heartbeat of the Sun, and possibly the solar system, and we've went to bat on some Earth-shattering breakthroughs in physics. Speaking of Earth-shattering, most of you know our paper is well underway on the correlation proven by Dr. Holloman at the Ohio State University Statistical Consulting Service. The solar polar fields are linked with the largest earthquakes on Earth. Here's a little preview and explanation for our members before the actual paper is published. I'll see you in the morning. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.